guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Propolo, and on this episode, we're going to be making sci-fi binoculars. Now, these are based off the Star Wars-style binoculars that you see in the movies, so they'd absolutely go great with the Stormtrooper costume, Sword Trooper, or whatever Trooper costume that you want to come up with. But you know, they'd also go great with anything futuristic, uh, sci-fi, anything along those lines. Now, it's important to note, this is a prop. You cannot see through it. Uh, so it is meant only for show for costume or videos now I do have you covered with a kit and a template download if you go down to the description area below You'll find a link to both for now. Let's check out what's in the kit The kit comes with all your phone pieces cut out and ready to glue together It has registration lines as well as letters marked to help you locate your pieces It comes with pexy glass lenses cut out as well as a half inch nylon strap. Well, Alright guys, that covers the kit. If this video helps you, hit that like button for me. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. But for now, let's see how to put this together. For this build, you're going to need two sheets of 5mm foam, contact cement, Plasti Dip, spray paint, half inch nylon strap, a razor knife, rotary tool, and an airbrush if you got one. The kit has reference lines and letters to help you line up your parts. Start with the oval panel that has three circles on it and one of the oval panels that have a center line on it. Line your two pieces up and transfer the center mark to the circle panel. The main body has center marks top and bottom. Transfer your marks over to the back side of the piece and make a reference line from top to bottom. Then measure down three inches on each side and make a mark. Use a straight edge to draw a reference line. Start gluing your pieces together. I recommend contact cement. Apply your glue as shown. Take the oval piece with the circles on it and line up the center point with the main body with the circles facing out. Press the piece in place, keeping the edges lined up. Then glue in your center and back section using your center points and reference lines. Apply glue to the remaining surface and edges of your pieces. Now roll the end over slowly, start in the center. Make sure to keep your center piece lined up with the reference line and your outside edge is lined up as you work your way around. Roll the body around in short segments, working from the center to your outside edges. Now bevel your front edge. I recommend using a rotary tool for this, but you could use sandpaper or even an emery file. Next, take your two oval sections with tabs on the end. Line the two pieces up and trace a reference line. Apply glue to the surface areas, including the tabs. Once your glue is set up, you can press your pieces together. Start by lining up the tabs on one side, then bow the two pieces out so you can line up the other tab. Once your tabs are lined up, press the two pieces together, working your way down one edge and working your way up to the top. Now apply glue to your reference areas and the back of your pieces. The circles with the A on them should be glued with the A facing down to hide the mark. The piece with the circles should be glued with the circles facing up. Once your glue set up, press your pieces in place following the reference lines.
Next, take the section for the visor and draw reference lines straight down from the top corners. Then heat the piece and bend the ends along the reference lines. Apply glue to the edge of your visor and to the surface area of the bent bar. Line the visor up with the inside edge of the bar. This will leave a lip on the outside of the visor. Next, take your triangle piece and line it up on the back side of this section. Mark a reference line and apply glue to your two pieces. Line the triangle up and press the pieces together. Next, line the body up on the back piece and mark a reference line. Apply glue to your surface areas. Line the body up against the bottom of the triangle section and press the pieces together. Apply glue to the reference areas on the front section and to the back side of the corresponding pieces. The first layer of pieces should be glued down with the markings facing up. Now apply glue for your second layer. The first section should have the circle facing up. The circle with the D should be facing down and the ring with the A should be facing down. You have two pieces marked F. The larger circle should be glued down with the markings facing up. The smaller circle should be glued with the marking facing down. Here's a tip to help with the strips. Grab a box and lay down some strips of tape. Roll it over so that the sticky side is facing up. This will allow you to hold your strips in place while you apply glue. Now apply glue to your reference lines and your strips. There are three sizes on your strips. One short, two mediums, and the rest are long. To glue down your strips, press down one end. Then hold the other end tight and lay down the strip along your reference line. Press the end down and then work your way back up the strip. Once your prop is built, the foam will need to be sealed for paint. I recommend using Plasti Dip. Here I use two light coats followed by two heavy coats. That was followed up with two coats of white paint I use an airbrush to add details. You can paint these details on with a hand brush as well. Once the paint's dry, you can glue in your pexy glass lenses. I'm using hot glue here, but you could use contact cement or super glue as well. To finish the piece, add a strap and it's done.
all finished up, painted. And as I said, you can paint these up a different way for whatever purpose you're building these for, whether it's a video, uh, costume, whatever it is, but you can see how they look painted up in camouflage a different way. Well, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for all the good comments y'all gave me. Uh, a lot of attaboys out there. Uh, I do appreciate them. Sorry I can't get back to all of y'all. I am very busy, but I do try to get back uh, and comment back to you. Uh, but you have tons of great ideas. Keep them coming. As always, God bless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.